This episode, we're taking a look at the history of the bot who puts the creepy in creepy crawly. These are the basics on the Insecticon Master of Mind Control, Bombshell. The toy that would become Bombshell was first released in the Japanese toy line Diaclone in 1983. The Diaclone toy was one of the three insect-themed Insector Robo and transformed into a mechanical Japanese rhinoceros beetle. The Insector Robo were imported by Hasbro as part of the second year of the Transformers toy line in 1985, becoming the bug-themed Decepticon trio, the Insecticons. Marvel Comics writer Bob Budiansky wrote a profile for Bombshell that characterized him as a psychological warfare specialist. He could fire cerebro shells from his horn that burrowed into the brains of others, Transformers and humans alike, and placed their minds under Bombshell's control, allowing him to toy with and debase them as his cruel sense of humour saw fit. Bombshell and the Insecticons joined the cast of the Transformers cartoon late in its first season, at the end of 1984, ahead of their toy's release. They crashed to Earth with the other Transformers four million years ago, but rather than go down with their ship, they fled the vessel in an escape pod and adapted for life on Earth by taking on insect forms. A voracious scourge able to multiply themselves into a clone swarm that ate everything in its path. They were a splinter group who only occasionally joined forces with the other Decepticons, and just as often came into conflict with them when their own schemes clashed with Megatron's. Bombshell's mind-manipulating abilities led to him playing several significant roles in the show. He took control of the Autobot Mirage and used him to lure the other Autobots into a trap, controlled the minds of the entire Decepticon army to turn them against Megatron, and reprogrammed and upgraded the human-built robot ninja Nightbird. The Marvel comic, meanwhile, introduced the Insecticons as warriors serving in the court of Lord Straxus, the Decepticon leader on Cybertron. They were later summoned to Earth by Megatron, where bombshell Cerebro shells found many wicked uses. From controlling hydroelectric engineer Ricky Vasquez to gain the Decepticons access to Hoover Dam's power plant, to remotely channeling the life-giving energies of Optimus Prime's Matrix. He also played a key role in the G.I. Joe and the Transformers crossover miniseries in which he used one of his shells to commandeer a mobile power station, only to be captured and have his shell studied, allowing the Joes and Autobots to use them to retake control of the station. Bombshell's toy was discontinued in 1987, but the character was actually phased out of the cartoon before this happened. As seen in 1986's The Transformers the Movie, he was one of several wounded Decepticons dumped into space to die, who were found and reformatted into new bodies by the monster planet Unicron. Bombshell was shown being recreated as the warrior Cyclonus. But check out the basics on Cyclonus for more on the long-time fandom debate surrounding the identity of that character. The comic also dropped Bombshell from its stories after his toy was removed from shelves, but years later he returned in adventures written for the United Kingdom's version of the series, using his shells in a plot to make a human journalist write anti-Autobot articles. Across both comic and cartoon, Bombshell's mind control powers made him the standout member of the Insecticon trio, and that status was highlighted in 1991, when a new toy of him alone was released exclusively in Europe and Australasia. A non-transforming Action Master, whose partner drone Needler converted from a beetle into battle armour for him. Now, notably, Bombshell's prominence in the cartoon led to a misconception in early fandom that he was the leader of the Insecticons, when it was really Shrapnel who the show usually presented as being in charge. But this mistaken notion would wind up shaping several of Bombshell's appearances in Transformers media in the 21st century. 
In the early 2000s, Bombshell featured in Dreamwave Productions comic books, using his Cerebro shells to enslave an entire town of humans and scheming to steal command of the Insecticons from Shrapnel, until the Autobot Bumper used one of his shells against him to fry his brain. He was introduced into IDW Publishing's comics in 2008, in which he and his fellow Insecticons were created in a twisted Decepticon genetics experiment. Depicted as the group's spokesman from the outset, Bombshell's evil deeds in IDW stories included torturously plucking vital Autobot intel from the brain of their human ally, Hunter Onion and seizing control of the mind of the Autobot Prowl for an extended period of time, using him to subversively sow chaos in the Autobot ranks. By the late 2000s, however, Hasbro had lost their trademark on the name Bombshell, so for a time he had to go by the alternate name Hardshell, and this was the name used in 2012 when a new incarnation of the character appeared in Transformers Prime. Though still transforming into a horned beetle, the Prime character had little in common with the original. Rather than a mind-controlling sadist, he was a hulking, battle-scarred brawler, the most ferocious of all Insecticons. As seen in the Prime cartoon, Hardshell led a mission to recover a sample of Toxic Energon, during which he gravely wounded the Autobot Bulkhead. Bulkhead's partners Wheeljack and Miko Nakadai soon came looking for revenge, with the tiny human Miko ultimately being the one to destroy Hardshell with a volley of missiles. The same year, Hardshell also appeared in the video game Fall of Cybertron, and later its 2014 prequel Rise of the Dark Spark, which together told the story of the Insecticons' origins in this continuity explaining how they had emerged from the depths of Cybertron in the dying days of the war on the planet millions of years ago. Though maintaining his depiction as a big, beefy bruiser with no mention of mind control, the games chose to base Hardshell's physical appearance more closely on the original Bombshell. Eventually, though, the trademark on the classic name was reacquired, just in time for the first new toy of the original Bombshell in nearly 25 years to be released as part of 2015's Combiner Wars. In the last few years, Bombshells maintained a fairly regular presence in new series, beginning when IDW rebooted their comic books in 2019. In this new universe, the Insecticons were exiled from Cybertron for cannibalism, but Bombshell, still characterized as the group's leader, conspired with Shockwave to arrange their return to their home world. Bombshell went on to mastermind a plan that saw the Insecticons nearly devastate Cybertron with a clone swarm, until the Autobots were able to subdue him and reprogram his hordes. In 2020, Bombshell appeared in the Transformers Cyberverse cartoon, which depicted him and the Insecticons as Decepticons from an alternate universe brought to our world by Megatron. Though in this series, all the Insecticons were just recolors of shrapnel rather than unique bots with their own designs. A more classically inspired Bombshell was featured in 2022's Transformers Earthspark, which gave the Insecticon a taste of his own medicine when he became one of several Decepticons captured and mind-controlled by the human mad scientist Mandroid. The same year, a new toy of Bombshell's Action Master design was released by collectibles company Super 7 in their Ultimate series of non-transforming action figures. And most recently, in 2023, Hasbro released another new transforming Bombshell figure based closely on his appearance in the original cartoon in the Transformers Legacy line. A mentally manipulative menace so powerful that he reshaped his own legacy by planting a mistaken belief in the minds of fans, Bombshell is one Decepticon who can really get under your skin and inside your head. And those are the basics on Bombshell. The whole idea of his Cerebro shells really used to freak me out when I was a kid. Tell me what you think about him and his wicked ways in the comments. 
As always, like and subscribe for more, and if you can, support the series on Patreon to get early access to new videos.